Practice going good. Two weeks, um, full team. About three weeks with the pitchers and catchers. Um, guys came in prepared pretty good, which is important. You know, if they come in prepared and we can get after it right away, that makes things easier. So it's been going good. With Kat and Angelo, both of them four years, impact guys four years. So they've been through it, you know, so their leadership off the field, on the field um, is helping um, and their experience and the type of players both of them are. Um, it's helping with some of the younger guys that are in the program now and then also some of the returners that didn't have major roles maybe their freshman or sophomore years that now we're looking for more impact roles at practice they're kind of leading since the fall they've been leading you know talking a lot with them and, and doing some real good stuff at practice. Um, I like what we added um, our freshman um, our freshman class I like our freshman class a lot a um, couple players within that class you know that had really really good senior years um, last year that are having real good preseason now had good falls individual work um, so they look like they're they're ready to, to handle our conference schedule and our non-conference schedule um, our transfers were a big part of our recruiting for uh, this year um, where we did want to bring in some junior college transfers um, along with a four-year transfer that we brought in um, to give us some experience um, to add to all the players we lost last year in the 11 seniors. So um, they're all panning out pretty good right now, just trying to gel everything and, and put it in place. Um, we've been doing the North Carolina trip now for, I think this is our third year, opening up President's Week Day weekend. Uh, I like it because um, it gets us playing in a three-game atmosphere um, at another school's facility. Um, we can get those games in. Um, if we are stuck inside, it gets us playing earlier. Um, challenging. Um, this year we're playing a different, playing Chowan University compared to the last few years we played Pfeiffer University. Um, both clubs are good. Chowan's definitely returning a lot of players, so it's going to be a good challenge right out of the gate. Um, and then going to South Carolina with the Myrtle Beach trip to the Northeast Challenge that we've been doing for 11 years. Um, it's just a great experience because it's all regional games. Um, and it's good competition, solid competition within the region. Um, so it's back-to-back -back weekends where we're playing right away. Um, and that non-conference slate is definitely important to see where we are and then be ready for a conference. I mean, I think it's a, it, it's a confidence booster always for especially the returners and then even some of the guys that um, may have not been totally in the mix to be in the conference tournament, the amount of years we've been in, that experience is very important just to even be in that atmosphere, um, get into the champ championship game and uh, falling short, um, I think makes the guys even more hungrier to try to finish the job. Um, but last year's last year. Um, the conference is just so good. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, Ed and New York Tech going to make it even that more competitive. All the teams in the conference every weekend, it, it, it's it's a crapshoot. You know, you, you got to play. You got to bring your A game every single weekend. Um, in order to be in the conference tournament. Very important. Um, I just like the way the, the entire group is working. I think the entire team is um, working really good. Um, I like what the coaching staff, you know, I, I'm really lucky to have the coaching staff I have. Um, their individual roles with their individual players. Coach Callahan with now adding Coach Brosnan with the pitchers. Um, like very much where they are as a staff right now preparing. Um, our depth is probably the best we've ever had in a long time. Um, Coach Holden with the hitters um, and the outfielders and Coach Burke with the infielders. Um, overall, collectively, the team has understand, you know, we, we've got to practice hard every day. If we can practice hard every day and translate that into our games, um, we got a good shot of, of doing some good things. It's all going to be about how we uh, prepare and how we go when uh, conference play starts and non-conference play.